Hi swimmers and families, it's Anna again from the Adaptive Swim Program at the JCC, and it's time for another weekly wave. Today is all about arms. In this video, I'll be showing you some different ways to practice your scoops or freestyle arms at home. The first part of this video is for swimmers who are just learning how to scoop their arms and move their arms in the water. Just like we do when during our swim lessons, we're going to be practicing sitting down like we would on the edge of the steps or the pool. And we're going to work on making our big rainbow scoops. You want to do big ice cream scoops or rainbow scoops in the water when you swim, not little baby scoops. You can even sing the song. This is the way we scoop our arms, scoop our arms, scoop our arms. This is the way we scoop our arms, we're scooping in the pool. It might also be helpful to have a family member put their hands over the swimmer's hands so that they get the correct movement with nice big rainbow arms. When we're learning to scoop our arms and move in the water, it's actually the same movement that we do when we're crawling. So another great activity for swimmers at home is to practice by crawling around your house or your yard. The second part of this video is for swimmers who are working on developing their freestyle or front crawl stroke. For this part of the video, I'm going to be using different items, including a chair, a broom, and a couch cushion. First, I'm going to be practicing our freestyle arms while sitting in a chair. Just like we do in the pool, we're going to keep our chin tucked and start reaching our freestyle arms. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two. Next, we're going to be practicing our freestyle arms while laying on the floor. Just like we did in our last video when we were practicing our kicks, we're going to lay on our belly on our couch cushion. We're going to keep our hands straight out in front of us on the floor. And then one arm at a time, we're going to practice our freestyle arms. One, two, one, two. Remember to keep your chin tucked. One, two, one, two, and reach up and forward. One, two, one, two. When we work on our freestyle arms in the pool, a lot of the times we use a barbell or a noodle. If you don't have either of those things at home, that's okay. You can use a bat or a broom. I'm going to start by using my broom while sitting in a chair. I hold my broom out in front of me with two straight arms. Then I tuck my chin and start moving my arms one at a time. One, two, one, two. Try to keep the broom straight in front of you and see if you can keep your arms up instead of letting them fall down. One, two, one, two. Once you get good at that part, you can also start working on your breathing. To do this, you're going to turn your head to the side with a big arm. I like to do three strokes between every breath. One, two, three. Big arm, breathe. One, two, three. Breathe. One, two, Three, breathe. Remember, when you breathe, you want to turn your head to the side and then look back down to the floor. To the side and down. Once you get good at practicing this in the chair, you can also try doing it while laying on the floor. When you're practicing your freestyle arms at home, don't forget, the bigger the scoop, the better. Keep reaching those big rainbow scoops towards the sky. Keep practicing and we'll see you next time.